Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to apply frequency cap to your ads campaigns here in Meta. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Meta, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Applying a frequency cap to your meta, which, which is on Facebook and Instagram ads campaigns, is a strategic way to control how often your ads are shown in the same user within a specific time frame. Now, this helps to avoid ad fatigue and ensures that your audience does not become oversaturated with their ads which can lead to diminished returns and have a negative brand experience. Now, once you are here on the Meta Business Suite, I need you to click on the Ads Manager. Click on that and click on the Campaigns. Now, once you are inside the Campaigns interface, I need you to click on the Create button to start a new campaign or you can select an existing campaign that you wish to edit. If you have multiple campaigns here, they would auto-populate on this section. All right, because you need to choose your campaign objective. Um, frequency capping is generally available for objectives like awareness and reach. Now, you cannot apply a frequency cap to traffic, engagement, leads, app promotion, and sales. I'm not sure why is that. You might want to ask on um, Facebook about it or the meta about it. But as far as I know is that it is only applicable to awareness. Okay, so I want you to click on it. You see, when you click on awareness, you can show your ads to people who are most likely to remember them. It is good for reach, brand awareness, video views, and store location awareness. Click on the continue option. Wait for it. And then now this step is very important. Okay. Because you need to click on the new awareness ad set. Now, if you hover down below here, just wait for it. You see, you can create a template if you wanted. You can standardize your campaign name so they are consistent and easier to organize. If you click on this option, you can add a component. You can name your campaigns consistently by creating a template based on your naming convention if you haven't already. All right, since while we're at it. Campaign names will update automatically to match your current campaign template. You can add a component. You can put in your campaign fields like objective campaign id advantage campaign budget open text field and custom field but if you wanted to choose an existing template you can choose the custom template one or a custom template two if you wanted all right now on clicking on the new awareness ad set all right now this is where we put in the now we're going to add our um set name this is going to be um something like maybe this okay now if you wanted you can create this template all right but for now let's leave it as as it is and here you can choose the facebook page all right and you can put in a cost per result goal you can put in any number from uh, 10 to 20 uh to 100 it doesn't matter but for now let's leave it as it is because meta will aim to spend your entire budget and get the, the most 1000 impressions using the highest volume bid strategy if keeping the average cost per result around a certain amount is important you need to enter a cost per uh, goal all right now you see there's gonna be a uh, show more options here all right wherein you can put in the frequency cap okay so that means now for example you need to click on the uh edit button here the pencil icon for example you wanted to have like maybe six impressions every nine days okay so if you read the information here as part of the efforts to regularly update the system's processes they have made changes and that result in some people all right now when you get charged you can have you can also have an option to edit this one all right let's do that later and you have an option to deliver a type okay so as you can see you can edit all of this information or this data as long as you wanted you can also put in the dynamic creative so that you have more control over the ads by using the dynamic creative for example you can now provide creative elements such as images and headlines 
that will be used to automatically generate variations for your audience this is very um helpful if you click on continue because we can have more uh, control over the impressions and adding on the while adding frequency cap to the meta ads campaigns of course you can put in a uh, daily budget for example it's going to be 6.9 dollars right that's going to be a daily budget or you can have like a lifetime budget all right you can put in any values that you wanted all right but of course your budget must at least be 30 uh dollars per day and of course you would spend 6.90 per day your maximum daily spend is 12 dollars and your maximum week spend is that now on the start date obviously you can choose any date from september 1st september uh, 3rd september 4th it doesn't matter all right and of course you can set the uh, time that you wanted you can also put in uh send an end date if you wanted for example you just wanted to run this specific ads while using the frequency cap to a certain uh duration you can set an end date for example it'll end after 30 days or maybe it'll end like maybe a few days from now on um, september 15th so it's all up to you and even the time so you have more control now there this is gonna be a, a handy feature because i have tried this multiple times on the budget scheduling um this is very good if you you know um if you're on a tight budget or uh, for example you when you anticipate higher sales opportunities peak traffic periods or other promotional time periods now this is uh, helpful if you're on a different market say for example you're working on um united states and your target markets and in the united kingdom so the time difference must have uh, is a variable factor for the budget scheduling so you might want to do that you can also increase your budget during specific um time periods you can view and you can of course put all the information here and you can remove this period for as long as you wanted you can add another time period uh, this is very important because when adding frequency cap to your meta ads campaign if you add more um options here you're, you're getting more control so that you can spend more get more out of your budget all right even if it's limited now you can choose where your ad appears to the meta technologies by using the advantage plus um, payments all right because your budget will be allocated by meta's delivery system across multiple placement on where it's likely to perform the best and once you are happy with it now just take a look a closer look on our uh, meta ads campaign right click on next you see you can put in a lot of more information in this section in this case this is going to be deep lapse and you can create a campaign select a page you can put in uh, selected images and the next th uh, thing that you are going to do is click on publish and you would be able to successfully apply frequency cap to your ads campaigns here in meta thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video